Hey, it's Dan Lesniak, the founder of the Orange Line Living Team and broker of Optime Realty, which is also home to the Carrie Shull Team. In today's Ask the Agent segment, I'm going to focus on a question I've been getting from buyers lately about how much they can expect to negotiate off from the list price on a home. And I've been getting this from buyers in Arlington, DC, and, and all over in Northern Virginia as well. So the answer uh, is that it kind of depends. So you know, right now, overall, we're, we're still in a seller's market. There's typically two to three months of inventory on the market. So that, that's definitely seller's territory. Uh, just as a quick review, because we've discussed this before, uh, neutral territory would be three to six months of inventory. Greater than six months is a buyer's, in, uh, greater than six months inventory is, is a buyer's market. And we're, we're definitely in the two to three month range in most areas, although it's less than that in some areas. So, it, so in general, it's a seller's market, but it kind of depends on exactly what you're looking for. So certain areas have less inventory, certain areas have more. Uh, the other thing that's going to matter is the, the home itself and, and if they priced it right. So there's a lot of agents out there that will overprice homes and even in the seller's market, those will still sit. So if you've seen a home that's been on the market for over 15 days, uh, definitely over 30 days, there's going to be some room to negotiate on those, sometimes 3 4%, uh, percent, maybe even a little bit more. So it, it does depend on how motivated the seller is. If it's, but if the home's been on the market for less than two weeks uh, in our area, we're typically not seeing a ton of room. Uh, if, it, if it gets past that first week, but not the second week, maybe a percent to 2%. Um, you know, so it, it kind of depends on, on how long it's been on the market. If, you know, I've seen some houses and, and one lately that, you know, had, had like 30 people through the first weekend of showings. So I'm sure that one is going to go for over the list priced. So it really depends on uh, what area it is, what type of house it is. So, so what the demand is for that area, that, that house type, and if they priced it right. Um, it can also vary if it's new construction or not. So a lot of times new construction uh, sellers or, or their agents will negotiate even if it's not apparent uh, by the closed list prices and the tax records. So a lot of times those sellers will give you closing cost credit, extra upgrades, pay for condo fees, you know, other things that are sort of hidden from the actual sales price in the tax record. And we've got a lot of experience working with buyers and helping them get the best deals in new construction developments and, and homes around the area. Uh, the other factor that will uh, affect the amount you're able to negotiate off the price is what type of contingencies you put in the contract. Uh, how strong you are financially, uh, you know how you represent uh, the way you're going to purchase the home, as well as the closing time, and uh, I go into detail on a lot of that in, in other areas. So if you have any questions on how to make the best possible offer and get the best possible price, definitely let me know. I'd love to help you on that. If you've got any other questions in general, please let us know. We'd love to help you out. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.